had when we were younger. We go to a gym, we say, hey, well, I got an hour and a half. I don't have to be anywhere an hour and a half. I think I'll just do an hour of sit-ups and then a half hour of working curls because all the girls want to see that thing. So you say, yeah, I'm going to do that because I got a date tonight. Well, you're probably married now if you're close to my age. You like to sit at home and watch a football game or watch some of the pay-per-view karate matches or things like this or, or you know, whatever. So you have 15 minutes to work out. Or better yet, what is there, a 10-minute break between the first half and the second half of a football game? Maybe 20 minutes? So I'm going to get my workout because I'm going to watch the game. Plus, i got to finish the pie or eat my ice cream. But it's still enough time for you to do something. Something to get the heart pumping, something to get those muscles working so they don't atrophy. Atrophy simply means they get smaller. All hotels have at least two chairs. Or at least one chair, you can use the bed if nothing else. Okay? All homes have at least one chair. Or a bed or something, or a counter. You can use a counter. Now, again, isolating our tricep. We work all the tricep exercises at first. I try to, so I don't want to go from one muscle to the other because what happens? I take the blood out of this muscle, put it in this muscle, or this muscle, or this muscle, or this muscle. I want to build this strength up so I want that blood to stay there as long as possible. So that blood makes that muscle fiber grow. Okay? So now, I want to work the tricep, isolating the tricep. But even though I'm isolating the tricep this time, I'm still going to work the lower pec a little bit, and more than that, the lats, back here, the lower lats area. Because all I'm going to do now is use my two chairs, put my feet up on the chair. Luckily, these chairs have elbow rests. But even if they didn't have an elbow rest, I could still use the seat part of it. But all I'm going to do now, put my hands here to where I get a good base from here, put my feet up here, have it go forward enough that I'm not going to hit my butt on the thing. Now watch, lower and up at least a 90 degree angle at the elbow joint. Down and up. Down and three. Down and four. Down and five. Down and six. Down and seven. Down and eight. Down and nine. Down and 10. Down and 11. Down and 12. Down and 13. Down and 14. Down and 15. Down 16. Down 17 down 18, down 19, one more now, down, stretch it, now stretch it, and up, and relax. Again, what we're doing is isolating the triceps, but as we isolate the triceps, we're also building the pecs and the latissimus dorsi. Hey, most hotels don't have one, most homes don't have one, but they're fairly easy available if you go to any athletic store to get one. They're very nice to use because they do a variety of different exercises. Again, now we're still working the tricep. We're still working the tricep. This is a fairly heavy weight, so I'm just going to put it behind my head here and work the extensions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then back, while this arm rests, this arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now again, you don't have to do a set of 10. You might start off with three or four, depending on the weight depending on the weight of the dumbbell. If you have five pound dumbbells, you want to do 15 sets of 20 to where you get that work. But again, if you have a heavier one, 15 or 20 pounds or whatever, you might want to do one set of seven, maybe three sets of five. But you need to do it to where you're fatiguing the muscle so where it will grow. The triceps are a very important muscle group. They push away. They reach out. They extend the arm, whether it be in a jab, a reverse punch, a straight left hand, or just push a person off, as in you're in wrestling, or in judo, or 
In a self-defense situation, just a straight palm to the chest to push yourself away. Very good for the strengthening aspect. Hey, I found two of them. It's funny that you don't have any of them, and I have two of them. But they're heavy. Now what we're going to work primarily is your deltoid and your trapezius right here. Very simply. Now again, if you don't have heavy weights, you can pick up cans of something to where any kind of a movement helps. You might have cans in your house. You might, might have a place that has some light dumbbells. Or, or if you travel frequently, you might want to carry a couple seven-pound dumbbells with you. If they check your luggage at the curb, who cares? But again, now watch. All I'm going to do is pick these up to this position. And when I lift them up, I touch them. The reason they touch is so my hands come together a little bit, so I'm working a little bit more of that deltoid. Now watch. One, two, three, four. Back is straight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And down slowly. And then down. The main thing to think about with any dumbbell at all, full extension, all the way out, together, back, down, all the way out, together, back, and down. So you're working at full movement, the muscle gets its full range of movement, so you're not weak in any particular area. Hey, you got to rest whenever you can. Let's say that I've had about 10 or 15 minutes rest. Let's say maybe five minutes rest, because remember what I said earlier, I want this muscle to relax before I work another muscle because I don't want to take the blood out of the tricep and put it someplace else. Again, this is my personal preference. After I work the tricep, I want to work the bicep. The reason for that is I don't want to walk around with my arms straight all the time. But also, I don't want to work it like this all the time and I have to walk like this. So I want to be able to have that range of motion. So after I work the tricep, I want to work the bicep so I get even movement, even growth. Okay? So basically what I'm going to do now is a curl. Very simple, a curl. From here, I grab the, I put my elbow against my knee. One, two, full movement now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. While this arm is resting, I get the other arm. Watch now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Now again, you might want to work two sets of those, three sets of those. I like to work a group of ten. So I'm getting full movement, I'm building up a little bit of cardiovascular endurance. I'm also making the muscle get tired. So when it gets tired, what does it have to do? Relax. That's when the blood gets in there, helps it to grow. Another type of a curl is very simply, if you have a dumbbell like this, or two of them, from this position, now watch. I'll do it so you can both see from the side here. One, one. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. See the movement. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten, and down. Again, you're isolating to the full extension, not one, two, three. Very many, many different ideas on how to build strength. If you go to bodybuilding gyms, a lot of times they want to go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Again, it's just different views. I like to practice the entire movement all the way through. So the muscle is just as strong at the start as it is at the end. It's just as strong in the middle as it is at the start or at the end. Now we'll put these two exercises together. Now watch what happens. From here, 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. Don't swing. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, and ten. Good. Again, we're talking movement. Full movement, not <laughs> same as in your movement. As anything you do, full movement, it's always easy to shorten it. It's hard to make it longer. Hey, I found a barbell. But it's a fairly heavy barbell. Now, rather than taking the weights off and making it just right for me, because remember up to this point, everything was in sets of 20 or sets of 10. Well, I don't know how heavy this thing is right now. So first of all, I'm going to pick it up and find out. Okay, now I can feel that. Okay, now rather than doing a set of 10, maybe I'm only going to do a set of maybe 5 or 6. Now, you have to think of a set of 6. I'm building bulk. I'm going to make the muscle grow a lot faster than it would if I did a set of 10. Why? Well, in a set of 10, I'm going to fatigue that muscle. In a set of 6 or 5, I want to make the muscle build up and get a lot of blood in there fast because I'm really straining a lot harder, so I'm pushing that blood in there a lot sooner. So think about this now. From here, and I'm not making the muscle so tired. From here, one, two, three, four, five, one more now. See the strain that's occurring? Six. I cheated a little bit, and then slowly down on the sixth one. But again, the same type of movement. One, two, three, to where the same thing with the single one. One, two, full movement, not uh, 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 but all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Get that full movement, build that strength, build a cardiovascular endurance, build the muscular strength. Okay, we've worked the abdominals at first. We worked the upper abdominals, then we worked the lower abdominals. Then we worked the tricep, the pecs, then we worked the lats also with it towards when we did the dips. After we did the dips, we rested for a little while. Remember, we rested. So the muscle is, a, is allowed to leave the tricep, allowed to leave the pec. Then we worked the bicep. Still working the forearm also, though, because it's very important in the grip. Work the bicep, three different exercises. The dumbbell with the one, the dumbbell with two of them, Then the bar with the full curl with the heavy weight. Now, we're going to let the triceps rest. We're going to let the biceps rest. Very important also, if you're a fighter, or for all-around endurance, all-around movement, working now the neck. Very Several different ways of working the neck. We have a mat, soft area, so we can do bridges. We can do the front bridge. We can do the rear bridge. I want to show you a simpler one right now, though. Very simply, lay down. Hey, you're tired, right? So lay down in this position here. Hands on the chest, legs are bent. In this position, nice and comfortable. Now all you're going to do is pick your head up. Now you're working your sternocleidomastoid muscle from your ear all the way down to your sternum, your chest plate. Okay, all you're going to do now is watch. Turn to the right, turn to the left, turn to the right, Turn to the left. Now we're going to do one set of 20 of these. Now watch. One, two, slow. Three, four, five. Sometimes you hear gravel in your neck. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Relax, put your head down. Now, what are you going to do about the front right in here? What are we going to do about the front? What's wrong with we just nodded no, we didn't want to do anything. Now all we'll do is nod yes. Watch. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And relax. Now roll around your stomach. If you do it to the front, we got to do it to the back, right? So you lay down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good. Now roll back over because now we're working the entire movement. Let's go through the first part of it again just to relax it. One more set of 20 because it's very, very important, this muscle group right here, the sternocleidoid mastoid muscle. With me, one more set of 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 